Hello, welcome back. It's Michael again. Uh, we will continue now looking at um, how we can simulate different behavior of people. So what we actually want to investigate first is what happens when people start to um, employ social distancing so that they don't um, actually meet so many people. In my implementation I will call that isolating because social dis distancing is such a long term that I don't want to write that in my variable names all the time. So let's say people are isolating um, at least to a certain degree. So let's see how we can program an investigation of that. So here's our program again and we said that we want to investigate what happens when people are isolating so we have to first modify our person class then so that we can um, have behavior that that is different that we can have some people who are isolating and who are not isolating and at first we will take a very simple trivial approximation of isolating and that is we will just say that a person does not move it's not proper isolation as we will see because other people can still run into them but let's as the first measure just see what happens when people don't move so I first want to have a um, flag here again. A flag is a Boolean variable, um, is isolating. And I don't need to initialize that because what I want to do is that whenever a person is created in the constructor, we say whether that person is someone who is isolating currently or not. So there is a Boolean parameter now to the, oops, boolean parameter to the constructor so that when we create the person that has to be specified and then we can uh, is isolating becomes isolating so what we're doing here is we're assigning this parameter to the field so when the person is created this person is now isolating or not and then we say okay if this person is isolating then we just say initially they just don't move so we say is oh if not is isolating then we want to move and otherwise we just don't move that's it um, if we compile this that should compile if we close this um, oh this will now not work there is a, an error here because now of course where we create the people we have to specify whether they are isolating we have in the popul populate method here we have now the creation of the people and they now need a parameter so the first person that we create and place in the middle the one that is infected we don't want them to be isolating let's say we always want our infected person to run around and you know like mad infecting others so we say here this one is false but the other ones here where we create all the other people we want some of them to be isolating and some not and we want to be able to experiment with this number so what i will do is i will uh, make that a parameter here I say int percent isolating and so that I can specify when I populate my um, my world um, how many what percentage of the people I want to be isolating and then here um, what I can do now is I introduce a local variable isolate or not int boolean boolean isolate and then I can say here before I create the person if and then I want now a chance that is um, equivalent to the percentage here so I say greenfoot.get and then I get a random number again and I get a random number of out of 100 because we're talking about percentages and now I want a chance that is equivalent to this percentage that this expression is true and if you think about it I can just say if a random number out of 100 is less than percent isolating um, that expression here has a chance to be true that is equivalent to that percentage because number out of 100 
if my percent isolating say is 30, I want 30 percent, it has a 30 percent chance to be less than 30. It has, if percent isolating is 80, I will get an 80 percent chance. So that um, taking a number out of 100 and then comparing to a percentage gives you a nice um, way to uh, define a chance um, that is in a percentage. So if that is true, then we say isolate is true, then we want that person to isolate, and otherwise um, if that wasn't true we say isolate is false, and then we can, we have a random value now with this chance for isolation and then we pass that into the constructor of the person. So with this chance this person is isolating. So this is, we are not getting exactly um, say 50% of the people, if we say 50 here, we don't get exactly 50% but we get a chance of about 50% of people by random chance, roughly 50% of the people will be isolating. Okay, so that is, I think this method is pretty good, except of course now in the populate method I have changed the um, the signature of the method. So if I compile that I get a um, an error message here now where I call the populate method. Here I need to pass in a parameter and let's say I specify a constant here again what my initial percentage is that I want people to isolate with. So I say private static um, final, um, a, that's an int, and I say percent isolating, and I make that, let's say, I say 50% initially is my, oops, don't need the percentage sign, 50 um, is my percentage um, that I use initially. And if I copy this here, then in my populate method I can use that and say I populate it with 50% of the people isolating initially. Um, so let's try that out. Um, let's see whether we can compile this. Have I forgotten anything? It does compile. So let's um, run this and we see here our um, infected people run around again. Um, we are getting our graph. The graph doesn't look so much different than before. We should maybe as a, um, okay there we are, as a, a help for us um, we should probably write on the screen how many um, are isolating at the moment because what I want to get to is I want to experiment with this value so I want to use different values. So what I can hear of course is in the populate message when I have done this work I can just say show text um, uh, let's say it's percent isolating and I um, oh I'm out of my method here I wrote that one line too low down so I want that here percent isolating plus and then I need this variable here um, and then I say plus percent and then I need to place this and I place that at say 720. I had all my other texts at the height of 20 so it's um, vertically aligned with the other ones. Let's try that out. Now it tells me here I've got percent isolating actually got a percentage sign there and there, it's a bit redundant, I can probably get rid of the one at the beginning. Okay, so that is one uh, way to do it, um, but we can't really compare um, the uh, graphs very well now. So what I want to do is I want an easier way how I can actually experiment with this and that is what I will do in the next um, episode. See you then, bye bye.